To many of us, the thought of someone going hungry brings to mind an image of a cardboard sign. But the truth behind those suffering from hunger goes much deeper than you might think. And when those depths begin to reach our children, swift action must be taken. In Santa Barbara, community members, politicians, and even celebrities are taking a stand against hunger in a countywide effort to eliminate it once and for all. Hunger doesn't have only one face or stereotype. Its victims can be anyone living anywhere. The first thing we need to do is recognize that we have a, a hunger problem. Hunger is typically a symptom of something else that's going on, and that, that something else is food insecurity. Many people are unaware of the widespread nature of food insecurity, but people with full-time jobs, families raising children, and even homeowners are going hungry every day. Which means that families aren't sure where their next meal is coming from. So often at the end of the month, a lot of families will get into that situation where the money they have available to food is much less. They've paid all their other bills, and so their diet really suffers. And children suffer inordinately as a result of that. There are many people in our community who are hungry, and a, a good proportion of those are children. Currently in our county, 25,000 kids are receiving free or reduced meals every school day, but 84% of those kids don't receive any sort of meal assistance over the summer. For children, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, allowing the brain to retain important information while attending school. Without proper nutrition, kids have trouble focusing during a lesson, which can lead to falling behind their peers. A child growing up without the right nutrition is not able to be a productive member of society. A lot of people I, I know don't really see this. It's kind of a hidden uh, uh, problem, and it affects us all. The medical studies have shown you really need a, a very healthy breakfast to be able to study and concentrate at school. Our kids, you know, it's, um, they're our future. They're, uh, they're the whole thing. I've often thought that you know, the, the health of our children can be a wonderful compass to find out if our society is on track. You know, if our kids are doing well, then we're doing pretty well as a society. Addressing the lack of stable food sources is no small challenge. It takes many contributors. The need for action may be unnoticed by some, but many agencies, public figures, and volunteers are diligently working to not only increase awareness, but to stomp out the issue of hunger in Santa Barbara County altogether. One of these organizations is Food Bank of Santa Barbara. In its 30-year history, they have gone from distributing 100,000 pounds of food annually to nearly 11 million pounds in 2012. The food bank, like many other nonprofits, started with just a group of concerned citizens sitting around a table saying, what can we do to help with emergency food requirements in Santa Barbara County? And at that time, which was in the 80s, there was a lot of government food available which could be distributed, and there was also a lot of wasted food within the grocery distribution network. So food banks were a, a sort of a no-brainer in terms of being that middleman who could step in there and safely source and store food and then distribute it out to member agencies. For Academy Award-winning actor Jeff Bridges, the issue of world hunger has long been on his heart. But in the 1990s, when U.S. government policies regarding hunger assistance began to collapse, he devoted his efforts to feeding America. When I got involved in uh, the hunger issue, it was back in the um, early 80s, and hunger had pretty much been handled here in our country. But then about, oh, I guess about 20 years ago, when some of our safety nets started to get holes in them and they weren't uh, properly funded, I shifted my attention to hunger here at home. Solving the hunger issue is more than just providing food to those in need. One very important effort in particular is the need to educate parents and their children on the types of food that are healthy and nutritious to establish lifelong good eating habits. The importance of knowing uh, what foods are good for us and for our children. It's not just food itself, but it's the right kinds of food. Children, of course, they want to 
pick up the, the prepared foods, the snack foods, the, the empty calories. We have a series of programs called Feed the Future, which starts at the preschool level and then works up through until high school. And it really equips um, young people with the abilities to look after themselves with food, how to cook, how to shop, and really just make the best advantage of all the excellent fresh produce that we have here in Santa Barbara County. Beyond just feeding kids this summer with a nice, healthy, well-balanced, nutritious meal, we're also trying to promote kids' outdoor activities, um, garden education, nutrition education, as much activity as we can encourage during the summer because it really is a critical time of brain and muscle development and we want to encourage kids to use that time as much as they can. One unique program making an impactful contribution to both promoting a nutritious diet and helping to eliminate hunger is Food Bank of Santa Barbara's Picnic in the Park which distributes approximately 35,000 free meals to children during the summer. Picnic in the Park was formulated as being what is called an open program, which means that it's in a park, it's freely available for any child under the age of 18 to come and access it. There's no eligibility rules, there's no papers you got to fill out. You just have to show up at these different sites where you can get meals. This is a free summer lunch program for kids all summer long, Monday through Friday um, at parks all over the county. We've got actually 17 different locations this year. Picnic in the Park is, is a vital program really because a lot of children depend on free and reduced lunches from school and some get breakfast as well during the school year. That's great during the year but in the summer those meals go away. Children's bodies and their brains still have to grow during that period so there's a real necessity for someone to be able to step in and make sure that children continue to get that nutrition during the summer. Even with these thriving outreach programs and an effort for more robust government policies related to hunger, the need is still great. But with community support and volunteers to sustain current efforts and create new initiatives, ultimately, we can eliminate the need for these programs altogether. Yeah, that's fine. The food bank has shifted our way of operating. We now have what is called a community leadership model, and that means that we rely directly on members of the public to actually run programs and to be really involved in how the food bank operates. You can get involved in the most basic level in terms of helping in a warehouse or picking up food or sorting food, but it can really extend widely out to being involved in teaching in our programs. But also we love when people come in and are able to use their skills and experience for us. It's really a rewarding experience to participate in this program. Um, and I know that our volunteers couldn't agree more. We would encourage you to take a peek on our website and you'll see that there are volunteer coordinators north and south county. And we want to know what you are good at doing and what you are interested in doing. And then we try and find a match with something that will really help um, our children and clients in the community. What's really needed is kind of what took place tonight here in this room, this community spirit and uh, you know, realizing that we're all interconnected, we're all in this together. Only thing I can say is we can do better and we will when folks like you across the country make us. <laughs>